Hey, it's Coach Ben from Online Soccer Skills, and in today's video, I wanted to answer some questions that some of the players have been asking about what to do during the off season. So right now, most players just ended their season, and it normally happens between Christmas and towards the middle of January, and as well as the summertime. So this is kind of the prime time for you to be able to do more training on your own so you can step it up to get to your next season. And this is one of the, the big problems I see most players make is when they have time off, they completely shut down and they're not doing anything on their own. So the first thing I would recommend is you can work on either getting stronger and you can do that by going to the weight room or you can be doing body weight exercises or you can be working on your fitness. And I would recommend doing both. And it's very important to do that because when you go back to your next season, your coach is going to be watching on that very first practice. He's going to be seeing who is fit and who is out of shape. So you want to really impress your coach and go into the season knowing that you're a fit player. And so if you take a ton of time off right now, then that's really going to hurt you going into your next season. So you need to try to really work on your fitness and work on getting stronger. That way you can really impress your coach. All right, the second thing I want you to focus on is improving your technical ability. Now, when you have all this time off now, this is really a great time to work on your own game. So you can do this several different ways. You can work on training on your own, or you can try to get some of your teammates and try to get some pickup games going, try to get more competition in the off season. And this is something that can really help you out because remember what we talked about, when you go to your first couple of practices in your next season, your coach is going to be able to quickly identify who trained in the off season and who didn't do anything. And you want to give yourself that advantage. Know that you're one of the players who put in work in the off season. That way you can really impress him when you get to your next season. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is making sure that you take time to recover. Now, I just spent, you know, the last couple of minutes talking about improving your fitness, your strength, your technical ability, and those are all great. But if you're overtraining, during this time, then you can be very burned out going into your next season. All right, so if you have a two or three month break from soccer and you just ended your season, you know, what I'm gonna tell you is exactly what I would tell one of the players that I train. And I just met up with one of the high school players that I privately train, and he just had a tough season. They had a lot of games, lots of practices, and I could tell his body is fatigued and tired. So I told him to take one or two weeks off completely and then we can get back into the off-season training program and ramp up his training. But taking time off is key. You need to make sure your body is fully recovered before you start your off-season training program. As always, like, comment, or share this video. And if you're brand new to this channel, make sure and click that subscribe button below. That way you can stay updated with all the newest videos that get published. Also, if you're an elite player and you wanna take your game to the next level, I want you to click this video right here. That's going to take you to a page, just tell me what position you play, and I'm going to personally email you our highest level skills workout. If you're on any mobile device, you can't click that, so just go to, our, to the first link in the description. It's onlinesoccerskills.com slash free training. It's going to take you to the same page. All right, I'll see you next time.